G'day, one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trade report. I'm at Singapore Changi Terminal 4, and today I'll be flying Hong Kong's flat carrier Cathay Pacific A350 all the way to Hong Kong. Terminal 4 was opened in October 2017, and Cathay Pacific was one of the first airlines to start their operation here at Terminal 4. They also have their own lounge here, which we'll visit later. By the way, I upload a new trip report every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong and Singapore time. So be sure to click that subscribe and bell button now so you won't miss out. Oh yeah, four <laughs> Totally. He said he's right, he said. Any battery power bank inside? Yeah. So you can see the weight from here. Let's As you can see, we're checking in with Cathay Pacific right now, and today we are very lucky to have this very lovely check-in lady, and she is super patient with my annoying nephew. Changi Terminal 4 is one of the loveliest terminals at Changi Airport. It's new, it's spacious, and it's bright. Unlike Terminal 1, 2, and 3, you do security and immigration together at the same time, so there's no need to do another security at the boarding gate. Terminal 4 has lots of shopping. It's also very green, you have plants everywhere. My favourite part would have to be this animated show. Bye bye. Right now we are at Cathay Pacific Singapore Lounge. We got access today with our One World Sapphire and Emerald cards. Cathay Pacific is very consistent with their lounge design. This looks pretty much the same as other lounges they have across their network. Now I'll quickly show you what you can get from the buffet area. The food selection is quite impressive. There's also a great selection of drinks. Chikimi got a glass of champagne. I'm well over the legal drinking age here in Singapore. Yay! Later we went to the noodle bar and we got some wonton noodle, a laksa and some dim sum. The laksa tastes really good. It's full of ingredients and full of flavour. Before long, it's time to go downstairs and head to our gate for Cathay Pacific Flight CX652 to Hong Kong. This is our aircraft today, a two-year-old Cathay Pacific A350-900 BLRP. This aircraft is fitted with business class, premium economy and economy class. And today we'll be sitting at premium economy. There will be another Cathay Pacific A350 going to Hong Kong after us, but it's going via Bangkok. Before you jump on board, you can grab some Hong Kong or Singaporean newspapers. Uh, welcome, on board. welcome on board Cathay A350 Premium Economy. Premium Economy is in a standard 242 configuration. There are only 28 seats in this tiny little cabin, so it's quite private. My seat today is 32k. Every seat is about 20 inches wide, and the seat pitch or leg room is about 40 inches, which is better than the old one, which offered only 38 inches. I will now quickly go through the seat features. Right there, you have a coat hook, and then a large touchscreen TV, which is not adjustable. Under that you have a little storage compartment. You can safely store some of your personal belongings in there. Further down, another storage compartment and then a large seat pocket. On the side you have a cocktail table, headphone jack and recline buttons, also a TV remote. There's space on your side which you can put some items in there. The tray table is located on the right hand side in the armrest. To release the table you have to lift up that button. I quite like the wooden texture on the tray table. You can fold it in half and move it back and forth.
Between every two seats, you'll find two USB ports and two universal power sockets. Inside the seat pocket, you'll find a noise cancelling headphone, which is really good in sound quality and comfort. So the storage compartment I just showed you, you can actually put your phone right there and you can watch Netflix or movies if you want to. There's a side reading light next to your head rest. You can adjust the position and adjust the brightness as well. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Cathay Pacific Flight 652, service to Hong Kong. My name is Dana Acorn, I'm your captain. Our preparation is complete here at the flight deck, we're just waiting for uh, just a few more passengers to join us. Once they are on board, we'll be closing the doors, push back. Quite a quick flying time of 3 hours 20 minutes en route to Hong Kong. We are a little bit behind schedule for our departure, but with that short flying time, I'm expecting to be very close, if not on uh, schedule, on the way into Hong Kong. Uh, we just came uh, from there. Route of flight is quite smooth. Uh, there's a few small pockets of air that uh, have a little bit of uh, bumps. Uh, so with that in mind, please keep your seatbelts fastened at all times, just in case we encounter any unexpected turbulence on Your flight service manager this afternoon is Jenny and her team will shortly be showing you this aircraft safety demonstration. It does include very important points, so I would ask that you please pay particular attention. On behalf of all of us, welcome on board, and I'll speak to you again just prior to Hong Kong. Enjoy your flight. lighting switches on automatically during an emergency. Please follow the crew's instructions and go to the nearest exit. Our crew are pointing out the exits now. Make sure that your tray table and TV are put away. Your seat should now be in the upright position and your seatbelt fastened. My crew, please be seated for the takeoff. Thank you. Now that we're flying up in the skies, I'll quickly show you the entertainment system. The content is very rich, you can play Angry Birds, you can watch live BBC news and there are plenty of movies to watch. There are two external cameras on board, one at the belly and one at the tail. The flight map system is interactive and the resolution is excellent. There's Wi-Fi on board and you can pay for internet access. One hour will cost you $9.95 US dollars and the full flight will cost you $12.95. The map on the phone is free so while you're watching movie and you want to know where you are, you can connect to the Wi-Fi and check it out yourself. Shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew started the service. We first get a choice of drink and a pack of peanuts. And I chose sparkling water.
The crew came back in about 10-15 minutes to offer us a meal. For the drinks I opted for another can of sparkling water. There are two options and I opted for the fish rice. It comes with a bowl of fruit, butter and bread and a water cutlet. The fish rice is very delicious, it's an excellent meal on board Cathay Pacific. from Cathay A350 900 economy class lavatory tour it's pretty standard here you've got hand soap uh, and some hand lotion it's not very big here but you do have some space to move around up here we have two tiny coat hooks after I did my lavatory tour, I went back to my seat and the crew gave me a haagen ice cream. As expected, the ice cream is rocky hard. Cafe Pacific loves their fruit and flies. They sometimes give out a bottle of Evian water to their diamond and one more emerald members. This flight has a lot of fruit and flies and the crew ran out of Evian water so they gave my mum a bottle of 1.5 litre Evian water to share it between myself, my mum and my nephew. I reckon this is a very smart solution rather than not offering anything. There's one problem I have with the seat and it's that when I have my leg rest extended, my foot space become very limited as you can see. I didn't have this problem on board Cafe 777 Premium Economy, so it's weird that they let this happen on their A350. The cabin crew turned on the moot lighting for this flight, even though it's during the day, it's still quite beautiful. We're now slowly descending into Hong Kong so let's quickly conclude this short flight with Cafe Pacific right here right now. Our awesome cafe experience started at Changi Terminal 4 with a lovely ground staff. My nephew actually told that ground staff that he would like some dim sum so after we left for immigration and security she told the cafe lounge staff to expect us to come and once we arrived into the lounge the lounge staff took us to the noodle bar to have some dim sum which is an excellent service from them. The premium economy seat is quite comfortable. The only thing is, as I mentioned before, my foot space become very limited when I have my leg rest and foot rest extended. So if I have to go to sleep, I would just leave them in the original position. The food on board today is quite good. I really like the fish rice. The cabin crew service today is also very good. They were a bit rushed at times, but they were still very attentive. That's it for my conclusion today. Thank you very much for watching this Cafe Pacific trip report. And here we are, one world fly squad. Share a journey with me with this hashtag on Instagram. And please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and share this video with your aviation friends. And remember, it's never too late to subscribe now if you haven't done so. Your subscription will definitely motivate me to do more videos like this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next Thursday, 12 p.m. Hong Kong and Singapore time. I'll sign off here and let you enjoy the approach and landing into Hong Kong Chetlap Airport.